Assalamu alaikum, peace be on to you. I work with the Council on American Islamic Relations, a civil rights organization for Muslims. And we issued a call nationwide for our Muslim community to join every rally in every city, in every community. Because we think that this fight, injustice for Trayvon is injustice for everyone. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, Sister Shayma, remember this name. Shayma is an Iraqi refugee woman who moved with her family about a year or two ago. She lives in San Diego. She was found dead two weeks ago in her home, beaten, with a note sitting next to her that says, Go back home, terrorist. Go back home, terrorist. I know about you, but I have two daughters who wear the headscarf, and they walk down the streets and they attend the public schools in New London. And they were called terrorists one day. They were called terrorists. I do not want to see them in a pool of blood one day when I walk back home. Just like we don't want to see another Trayvon shot to death. What's even worse is that they're trying to tell us that it's justified by law. We must change this stupid law. We must change and we must make sure that these kind of laws do not pass in Connecticut. We want to make sure that the anti-racial profiling law that we're trying to pass here in Connecticut, it gets passed, it has some teeth to it, it holds police and law enforcement responsible for what they do, and we expand it, just like Shafiq, the policeman was explaining to us that this is only applies for motorists. We want to make sure that people on the streets do not get stopped and frisked just because of the color of their skin. 87% of those who are stopped and frisked in New York City are all people of color. This is a fact. Right. And we cannot deny it. Racial profiling exists in every community. We must stop it. Right. I live in New London. I live in New London. Where we have a police officer who is caught on camera, their own camera, right. caught him planting drugs on someone that he arrested. Planted drugs on him, then arrested and thrown in jail. And maybe two months later, then when we discovered that this was, and, and a lot of thanks to the NAACP for bringing this and fighting on their behalf. Guess what? That police officer who we everyone saw on tape planting drugs on an innocent person and he arrested him, he is still free. He was allowed to retire and he's still free. He's not arrested yet. If that is not wrong, if that does not bring, bring the anger out of us, I don't know what is. But again, this is, it's great to see people come out but make sure that you don't leave today without leaving your phone number or your email address with the activists here, with the organizations, with your representative here. Track these laws. Make sure they get passed. Make, make sure they don't get watered down. Because we are beaten in a lot of times, not, not by outlaws, but by the laws themselves. Let's make sure that these laws have teeth to them so they can make sense and they can change this culture of racial profiling. Thank you.